Anna, this will be a very lengthy process. The contract she signed actually calls for arbitration, but they are all looking at all of the possible legal options in this case. In any case, this will take months or perhaps a year. Her noted attorney, Ray Sterling, who has handled multiple high-profile employment law cases, told me today that Turkia Mullen will fight to get her job back. If that doesn't happen, she'll not only try to collect on what was left of her three-year contract, about $708,000, but she may go after a lot more for things like loss of reputation and mental anguish, issues that are common in these sorts of cases. Sterling says Mullen has no job opportunities ahead and feels let down by some of the board members who voted for her two months ago and turned against her yesterday. Of course, the big issue here will be, was she fired with cause? If the legal system says yes, Mullen won't get a penny. It'll be a long road ahead as both sides are preparing for a tough legal battle. Coming up at 6, Mullen's legal team speaks out about the fight ahead and why they think not having any airport experience was actually a good thing when Mullen was hired. I'm Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you, Michael.